it's Rani and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would mix things up a little bit and do a little bit more of a different makeup tutorial. If any of you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or if the vlog has been uploaded yet, you would know that Michael just did my makeup for a masterclass that he had here in Perth. I will leave a photo of the makeup here. I'm very funny when it comes to makeup. I like to do only one look or like a few specific looks that I alternate between. I don't like to change it up a little bit because I pretty much like staying in what I'm comfortable in. And after Michael doing my makeup, he did such an amazing job and I fell in love with it and I was so obsessed. So I thought I should start mixing it up a little bit and trying different looks on myself and stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. I always step out of my comfort zone with fashion, so why not do it with makeup? <laughs> so today I teamed up with Rimmel London on this video. I'm sure you guys know that I've worked with Rimmel London so much in the past like two years. I've done a TV commercial with them, I've done multiple videos. Honestly, I've done so much with Rimmel. They're one of my favorite brands and I'm so excited to be working with them again. So this time we are working on a series called Trend Drop and the trend for this month is floating liner, which I'm so excited about because I've seen this floating liner trend floating around. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, for a while now and I honestly think it is so freaking cool. It's like really up my alley So I created two looks today in this video an edgy one and a more wearable one This is the wearable one here. This is honestly my favorite. I love how this turned out So if you guys would like to see the two looks that I showed at the start of the video Then please keep on watching and let's just jump straight into it So I've already done my base and I'm going to have my base done for both the makeup looks because this um, makeup tutorial is purely based on the eyes and I'll show you guys what I'm doing with the eyes and I'm also going to do a lip as well. So it's just going to be eyes and lips that I'm showing you today but I did use all Rimmel London products on my face and I will leave the names of what I used on my base down below if you want to know like what foundation I'm wearing or what highlighter. Stuff like that. So the first look I'm going to show you guys is an attainable look. So more of a toned down everyday look. So this one I was actually just practicing before and I freaking love it. Like, oh, it's just so cool. I've never really done anything like this. <laughs> I'm starting with the Magnifier's Eye Primer and going to prime my eyelids. This is so important because it just makes the eyeshadow stay on longer and also intensifies the eyeshadow. And it's also waterproof and lasts up to 24 hours as well, so that's a plus. And to set that eyeshadow base, I'm taking the Magnifier's Nude Edition Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to be taking this sand brown shade and I'm going to apply that all over the lid up to my brow bone. Because this is more of a wearable look, this will be the only eyeshadow I do. Now for the fun part, I'm taking the 24 hour color precision eyeliner in the shade white. And I'm just going to start by feathering the pen along my crease and doing a really thin wing. This liner is so easy to use because it has such a fine point. And also for a white liquid liner, this is very pigmented. So I just started at the inner corner above my crease and I slowly just started to follow my crease and lightly feather this out. And then once I did that side, I went ahead and did the other side. So I pretty much just looked directly in the mirror and mapped out and tried to get it the exact same on the other side. Now I'm going in with the Scandalize Extreme Mascara and I'm just going to do a light coat of this to my top and bottom lashes. This is one of my favorite mascaras and the cool thing is the wand actually has a flat side and a curved side. So the curved side of the wand volumizes and also loads up the lashes for a really extreme look. And the flat side it defines and lengthens the lashes from the root to tip. <laughs> For the very last step, which is lips, I'm taking the Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mocha and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. As you guys know, these liquid lipsticks are my ultimate favourite. I've done so many videos using these. So yeah. And then once the lips are done, this is the first look completed. Moving on to the second look, I have the same base on and I've already gone ahead and primed my eyes and set them just because you guys saw me do that in the first look so I thought I would just skip that step for this one. So this look is going to be the more edgy look and I'm really excited about this one because we're using colour. By the way, I just took a photo of the first look and I freaking love it. So cool. <laughs> I'm going to start by taking the Color Precision Liquid Liner again, and this is in the blue shade. I'm going to start by doing a floating wing again above my crease, but this time I'm only going to do it on the outer half of my eye. I'm going to start the wing where the eyebrow ends, and I'm going to bring that in halfway through to my crease. Then I went ahead and joined the tip of that wing to the outer corner of my lash line. <laughs> 
I'm just going in with the Color Precision Liner in white again and I'm just going to add a tiny little line under the bottom line that connects to the lash line just because I thought this would look cool and make it a little bit more fun. <laughs> Now I'm taking the Magnifies Color Edition eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this rich gold shade and apply this to my inner corner just to add a little bit more color. <laughs> going back in with the Scandalize Mascara again, I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. Why not go all out? To finish off with lips, I'm taking the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Blue Iris. And this is a navy blue, and I'm just going to pop this on, and then that will be the finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I like filming different videos because it keeps me motivated, and it's just a lot more fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!